Hi everybody, this is Shauna Pincus of Pincus Pottery and I am inviting you into my studio tonight to do something a little bit different. Um, normally we have clay all over the table, um, but it's after hours and we cleaned up. So tonight we're gonna celebrate something a little bit special. Um, the in Sika show for Clayworks, the Fired Up at 40 show that was due at the expo, um, is being held online now. So in celebration of that, we I've invited my husband, Michael Bracco, to come down and make us a special cocktail that we can enjoy from the comfort of our couch while we're shopping the in Sika expo at Baltimore Clayworks. So um, Michael is... Um, not only my husband, but he's also a business owner of Spaghetti Kiss. Um, he's also an art teacher in Howard County. And maybe my favorite part, <laughs> <laughs> he's an amateur um, hobbyist bartender, which is an awesome thing to have in the house, especially when you're quarantined. So um, he's going to make today for us a twist on the old fashioned. Yep. So since Clayworks is fired up at 40, this is gonna be a fired up at 40 old fashioned. And I'm gonna let him explain to you how to make it so that you can make it at home and we can cheers together while we are celebrating Clayworks 40th anniversary. All right, so go ahead and... Awesome. Hello, um, so yeah, um, an old fashioned is a whiskey drink that a lot of people have had and they're pretty easy to make, so I didn't want to do anything too hard, uh, but I just want to show a couple little variations on it uh, to really make it something special. Um, so um, the first thing I have is, I have this, um, I always forget what these are called, but it's a special glass with the, the strainer on top. Uh, you don't necessarily need this, um, but I'm just gonna put some ice in here. Whoops. And all an old fashioned is, there you go, is uh, straight whiskey with a couple of other ingredients, usually some sugar uh, or simple syrup, uh, some um, orange, and some maraschino cherry. And it's all mashed together just to add a little bit of sweetness to it. Um, so we're going to start. Uh, I'm going to make uh, enough for two drinks. So uh, I'm just using bullet rye. Um, I also like to do this with bullet bourbon. And um, I'm going to put two shots one for each of us over ice. Woo! These bottles of Bullet are huge, which is a positive, except that they're kind of uh, hard to pick up, and I almost drop them every time. And I always like to just put a little bit extra. Not a lot, just a little bit. I mean, nobody's driving tonight. Nobody's so. driving, <laughs> no, yeah. All right, so now instead of using um, sugar, um, I really like to use, uh, just to knock it up a bit, this is a uh, um, maple syrup. Uh, I'm not going to use too much. Let's see if you can see just, and I kind of eyeball this. So I do two little drips, one for each drink. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to take some, instead of using maraschino cherries, which frankly, unless they're on an ice cream sundae, don't ever use them in a drink. They're kind of gross, unless you have a seven-year-old who really wants a Rob Roy or a Shirley Temple. Uh, I really love to, um, uh, at any like good specialty liquor store, you'll find these, but I like to use the Luxardo cherries. Um, the juice is also fantastic. It's this really dark black cherry feel. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this, and, and again, I don't wanna use too much because I don't wanna oversweeten it. But I put two little drips in there. And then I use a fork to pull out the, um, the cherries themselves, and I'm going to drop them into the glass. Okay, if a little bit of the extra juice gets in there, bonus. All right, put that off to the side. Now, the one thing I forgot to mention that goes in every old-fashioned is bitters. And usually people use Angostura bitters, uh, which is great. It's a nice spicy bitters. It adds a little bit of flavor. Um, I'm going to try something else. Um, it's a nice way to just kick it up a bit. Um, and use some black walnut bitters. And um, so, so I don't get it all over her table. I'm just gonna, one, two, there you go. All right. So I have these whiskey cups that my wife makes, which I love these. This is her mermaid 
and uh, this one we actually collaborated on. Uh, she, she, she drew the tentacles I, for, I got, for this yeah. one. I got to draw the tentacles for this and have a blast with that. Um, oh, hey Bowie. Oh, we've got a visitor. He's the, the, the one who drinks all the whiskey in the house. Bye, Bowie. All right, so I'm just gonna put a couple of ice cubes in each glass. Usually I work a little faster than this, making sure that um, I don't uh, let the, the drink dilute. Then I'm just gonna stir this up. Uh, this is not a shaken drink. And I just wanna give it enough of a stir just to get it already cold so it doesn't melt the ice in the actual drink too much. Now, this uh, poured over the ice is great, and the one component that I haven't put in yet, which is on purpose, is the orange. Regular orange is awesome, uh, but I never want this to get, like, juicy. You never want this to not be just a whiskey drink. So, uh, but again, to make it a little special, I'm actually going to use a little blood orange. So uh, instead of squeezing it in there, I'm actually going to wipe the rim and then just drop it in. Okay. Okay. And there you're going to have a really, really awesome old fashioned. But there's one more cool little trick. Um, so you can see this nice little wood platform. We have this dome. And one of the big tricks that you can do with um, with an old fashion, uh, yeah, with an old fashion, is I have a little smoker here, and we can take some wood chips and fill this dome with smoke, and it adds this nice smoky flavor to it. Um, now this is uh, really easy to use. It's a gourmia, G-O-U-R-M-I-A. I just got it on Amazon, and um, <clears throat> some wood chips. I like apple wood, but if you don't have all the equipment, um, you could just take like a what are those, the, a casserole dish with a glass top, and you can put a piece of tin foil inside and drop a wood chip on there. Uh, I really like apple wood, but hickory, whatever, and actually light it on fire, uh, put your drinks in on the tin foil, light the chip on fire on the tin foil, and just cover it. And as soon as the fire goes out, it'll smoke everything in there. Uh, but with this guy, it's a little bit easier. All right, so I can take some wood chips and drop them in here. I don't need too much. And then, all right, help me out with uh, picking this up. Okay. All right, I'm gonna let this go under. So I'm letting the hose go under and then I'm going to actually light it. Woo. Just and turn it on. That's we, we light everything on fire. And you will see this start to fill with smoke. Almost there. And let's close it. All right. So. All right. Yeah. All right. So. It smells like a campfire. It does. It smells like a campfire. <laughs> and this is just the coolest thing in the world. Um, I don't know. I get really excited whenever we do I, this. Yeah, I know. It's super fun. And all of your quarantine friends will be super jealous when you're in your Google Hangouts and you can pull off the lid to your smoky cocktail. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, so I'll let you do the honor. You tell me when it's ready. Me do the honor? No way. You do the honor. <laughs> all right, um, well, you're going to have to tell me when. All right, so um, usually we wait a minute. Uh, we're not going to make you wait that long, uh, so let's let's do it right now. So go ahead, pull it off. All right. And the wow factor to this is awesome. Ready? Go ahead. Ooh. And then... I guess I should have pointed that the other direction. Wow. And then uh, a little bit of the smoke will sit in here. It really, what it does is flavor the ice. All right. And then here we have it. So you ready? So cheers. Cheers. Cheers, babe. Cheers. Mm -mm. Oh, so man. Good. Thanks. That is so good. good. <laughs> um, all right. So thank you so much for coming and having a drink with us tonight. Um, I hope that you are able to check out the expo. It's up right now and it has um, 500 pieces by, or over 500 pieces by 14 different artists. So it's a really cool show to check out. Um, and I hope that you do and celebrate Clayworks and their 40 fabulous years and enjoy your fired up at 40 old fashioned. Cheers. Cheers.